Hello, everybody, to Coastal Business Supplies Sublimation Mug Small and Large Production Webinar. We're so thankful that you joined us today. I uh, appreciate that you've taken your time out of your day to join us and to learn a little bit about sublimating uh, mugs. Uh, my name is Darcy uh, Jeffrey Anderson, and I am with Coastal Business Supplies. Uh, I've also got Rich Fultz and Matt Kastner with me today here, who is also part of the Professional Solutions Division at Coastal. And Dan Gilstrap with Hicks. He is in the Graphics Equipment Sales uh, Division at Hicks. Uh, I'm going to go over a little bit about sublimation and the mugs and small format, and then when we get into the large format part of uh, making the mugs, we're going to have Dan jump in and chain you on that as well. Today's agenda, we are going to be going, um, going overview of how the mugs are coated and other drinkware. We're going to talk about the process of dye sublimation. And then we're going to get into the printing, both small format and large format printing. Uh, next, we'll talk about the production. There's three different levels of producing the mugs. You got the single mug press, which would be kind of the hobbyist. Uh, Mid-level mug production, that's when people are ready to kick it up a notch. And then when you're ready to go full-scale production, uh, we're going to do the high-volume mug production and show you how uh, to do all three levels of those. We do have some promotions that we're going to offer those that are in attendance to today's seminar or webinar. Sorry, and um, throughout the webinar, please ask questions. Um, questions will be answered throughout the webinar, and then at the end, we can follow up with a few if we missed any. Rich Foltz, Matt Kastner, uh, Meredith, Aaron, and Dan are online. They are here at Coastal, and they will be answering your questions throughout the webinar. So I want to thank uh, those five for stepping in and helping us out with the questions today. So let's talk about mugs. Um, definitely not all coffee mugs are created the same. As you can see to the right, both of those coffee mugs look the same, but one of the mugs are prepped for sublimation. So you, you can't tell the difference, but one is prepared for it. Um, definitely cannot go out to Walmart and buy a white mug and think that you're going to be able to sublimate onto it. Um, when it comes to drinkware and other hard surface products for sublimation, they are considered a blank product to work with sublimation ink and paper. And by that, it means the product has been professionally coated and can withhold the time and temperature necessary for the sublimation ink uh, to transfer onto them. What's neat about it is there's, it leaves no feel behind. Not only does this coating allow for a beautiful, true image to be transferred onto the blank, it also is very durable and dishwasher friendly. The majority of sublimated mugs are around 11 to 15 ounces, and they're white mugs. However, we do have many other colors and sizes available, including shot glasses. Uh, one of the common questions that we hear um, from our customers when we're out at trade shows or when people call in or come in for demos is, can I coat my own mug? We do not recommend attempting this. Uh, there is a way, but we don't want you to attempt doing this. Um, there's quite a science behind every product coated that requires special equipment and formula um, per substrate. For example, the amount of coating that goes onto a ceramic mug requires one level of coating versus another um, level of coating for, say, a travel mug. Um, they would be completely different due to the different types of materials and the pressing time associated with it. Also, in addition to the coating process, there's a testing necessary, especially with drinkware. We want to make sure they're safe for people to drink from. So dye sublimation. What is it all about? Uh, dye sublimation is a process is very simple. Uh, it's a method of applying an image to a specially coated ceramic, or maybe it's metal, or it could even be 100% polyester fabric. You're using four main ingredients. The first is a sublimation ink. Um, the second is paper. And then the third is heat and pressure. So those are the four things that you need um, to have to put a sublimation print onto a hard surface item. Uh, through this process, 
the image is um, transferred, it's applied by using heat and pressure onto a specially coated substrate. Uh, it allows the pores to open up in the product as the inks form into a gas and it traps the image or the design into the material of the product and again it leaves no feel. Uh, it's very um, quite easy to do once you do it a few times and if you've ever seen it done, which I imagine most of you have, um, it, it creates a very bright, vivid image. There's definitely a high visual impact when it comes to dye sublimation. Um, you can produce branded or personalized um, prints. And again, here's a sample of just a very few of the drinkware items that we've done. Um, there's many more to come. So what are these mugs selling for? Um, I did a general online Google search, uh, online shopping. Uh, you can see here uh, some of the top five websites that came up, and this is what they are selling the mugs for. Uh, looks like everything from $9.95 all the way up to $15.99 for some mugs online. If you go into a gift shop, I'd say your standard mug is around $7.95 to $9.95. If you're going to personalize the mug, um, definitely can go much higher, $12.95 on up. I've even heard as high as $25 a mug. It just depends how personalized it is. And definitely when it comes to pricing the mugs that you're going to make, uh, you got to know what your market is. So research your market, see what they're selling for in your area, and price accordingly. <coughs> Virtuoso printers are the way to get into sublimating um, smaller items such as mugs. So here is a listing of the two that we offer, the Virtuoso SG400 as well as the SG-800. The SG-400 is an 8.5 by 14, and the SG-800 is 11 by 17. Both of these printers will print on regular size paper. So on the smaller one, definitely can do um, like a 8.5 by 11, and on the larger one, you can do 11 by 17 paper. What is nice, though, is you can also purchase mug-sized sublimation paper. So we have paper that's already cut down to fit on an 11-ounce mug or a 15-ounce mug. So there would be no cutting involved. You wouldn't have to cut your paper down to size. You can just print it. You tape it onto the blank uh, mug, and then you apply the heat and pressure and the time for the image to go from the paper onto the, the, uh, onto the mug. With this printer, you would use the Sublija HD ink cartridges. Uh, they do come with the printer when you purchase it. The SG400 and SG800 have standard capacity inks. And then on the SG800, you can actually uh, upgrade and buy the extended capacity inks. These inks are very uh, vivid and bright. And uh, you know, for the cost of the ink versus what you're going to make and profit on the mugs, it's definitely a good deal. Now, if you are considering going to the mid-level or the high level of making mugs, uh, you'd want to consider going into large format printer. And that's where you would consider the Epson F6200, which is a 44-inch die sublimation printer. This allows you to print eight to nine mugs at a time, the printout of the mugs, um, across the sheet of a 44-inch sheet. And then as you pr print a row of your design, it has a cutter in it and it slices it. It slices the paper and it will fall off. Then you just have to cut it down to size and um, take it over to the press that you're going to be working with. The Epson, here's quite a bit of information on it. It does come with a Wasatch RIP program, which is a color management program. It allows you to definitely have control of how um, well your images are going to print. It's a high quality um, image. There is the ink is a the ink comes for with one liter that's a thousand milliliters of ink at a time so it's a bulk ink system 
uh, when you order this printer, uh, this printer actually is free shipping and we send a tech out to install this printer and to train you on it as well. Here's a little bit about the inks. Uh, again, it is a bulk ink system. The inks, again, it's a thousand, mil, uh, a thousand milliliters, which is one liter of ink, and it's at a low price of 115 for the ink. Uh, it's, the ink was developed by Epson specifically for their Epson printers. The black ink is a high density black ink. It's a uh, new formulated ink, and it definitely achieves a dramatic color of intensity and superior overall image quality. There is also less ink consumed to produce a rich dark color of black inks, and you can get a nice solid black. Epson does have a rewards program. So every time you buy the inks and every time you buy the paper, you are rewarded, which you can use later on uh, should you want extended warranty or need another printer. And real quick, um, safety is first. Um, no need to worry about the inks with uh, the Epson because the Epson uh, inks are the ultra-chrome uh, inks comply with the AZO certification that meets, meets um, the safety standards. So if you want to talk about what um, the cost to print, we have broken down a desktop printer versus a wide format printer. So I took into consideration the exact same design and I printed it on the Epson printer. Uh, which has a cost estimator and it will tell you exactly what your print cost is. And I took that same information and applied it to the Virtuoso printers. So that's how I came up with it. So I tried to um, do as apples to apples as much as I could in comparison. Um, off of an 11 ounce mug, uh, ink, paper, the total, obviously on a sawgrass is a little bit more at $1.65 and the Epson is $1.48. So if you're making one, two, maybe 15 mugs, 20 mugs a week, that's not going to be a really big difference in price. So sawgrass is probably where the, um, the way you want to go. However, if you are going to get into midsize or larger production, you would definitely want to consider the Epson because the difference in cost, I believe that's around uh, 15 or 17 cents, that is going to add up over the course of time. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the mugs, and then I'm going to be handing it over to um, Dan with Hicks. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about this mug press. This is Geonite, the DK3. Uh, that's a single um, mug press, so you'll, you'll just be doing one mug at a time. Again, you take the mug, and you take your design, you tape the design to your mug, and then you slide it into the Geonite DK3, and you um, press it down. Uh, you'll be waiting for about, it takes about five minutes to prep, and then as it's cooking inside, as the heat, um, as the press heats up, that's when the magic happens of the ink will then leave the paper and then go on to the mug. Press time for 11 or 15 ounce ceramic mug is around 8 to 10 minutes per, um, I'm sorry, you can make about 8 to 10 mugs per hour with this uh, mug press. I should let you know that Geonite is a US made mug press. That's very important. There's other mug presses out there that are not made in the US. Um, I will tell you they're a little bit cheaper, but you will definitely be replacing it a lot faster. Uh, US made products are definitely more sturdy and more reliable, uh, and it's definitely what I would recommend going with. I am going to switch it over here now to Dan with Hicks, and he can tell you a little bit about their products. Dan, are you available for this one? Yes, okay. Yes, Darcy, thank you uh, uh, for the opportunity today. I want to thank everybody for joining us. I'm Dan Gilstrap, the Hicks Corporation. And I'm going to talk a few minutes about our two snap mug wrap. Uh, Hicks uh, has created mug wraps uh, for quite a while now. And uh, like a lot of the equipment that we build, these mug wraps are built very, very well. If you look at that stainless steel clasp, that's basically a lifetime clasp. You have two screws on this clasp that allows you to replace the silicone as needed. Uh, the silicone's typically going to last you, you know, between 50 and 100 mugs. 
and then you're going to have to replace it. Uh, the silicone, uh, it's a very good silicone product, but like anything, it does wear out. Uh, you can replace the silicone very, very easily. Uh, it's going to be readily available through Coastal. You can buy the replacement silicone either pre-cut or you can buy it in rolls that's a little bit less inexpensive and you cut it yourself. Uh, we build one standard wrap for all 11 and 15 ounce mugs. That's a standard straight wall ceramic mug and one wrap will fit all the 11 or 15 ounce. Uh, and then, you know, sublimation has changed, the market demands have changed so much over the years that we had to, uh, we had to figure out a way to do, uh, you know, custom products, travel mugs, beer steins, shot glasses, uh, dog bowls. So we developed a program where the customer actually has some input into the custom wrap design. Uh, if you know, like anything else, uh, you probably have to send me your substrate or send the substrate to Coastal, and we can design a wrap for your particular product. Right now, we're building wraps for uh, stainless steel travel mugs, uh, a lot of beer steins, uh, beer buckets for uh, several restaurants. I mean, there are a lot of, lot of uh, possibilities with a custom mug wrap, and it's really simple to get involved with. Uh, contact Coastal, uh, please, uh, to do it correctly, you will need to send, uh, you know, one of your substrates so we build the correct wrap for you. But key picks in mind when you're, when you're comparing pricing, we are not a, uh, we're not an import. These wraps are built here in the States and they're built, built to last. Uh, next I'd like to talk about our convection ovens. For, uh, for mid-level production, for the customer that's outgrown his, his mug press, this countertop oven is, is a great, great product. We are very proud of this. This oven was built for sublimation only. It was built per Hicks specifications. What we have done, we have taken a, uh, you know, a standard uh, food service oven and we have added heat, airflow. We've made a lot of different changes. And this is by far the best countertop oven that I have seen in the market so far. Uh, you have four shelves. You got nine adjustable rack positions that gives you all kind of flexibility to do the smallest shot glasses up to the tallest travel mugs. And the great thing about this is uh, your temperature differential, which is very important with sublimation, is from the top of the substrate to the bottom of the substrate, the temperature has got to be almost exact and we can do this with our oven. Uh, this oven will do, you know, over 50 mugs an hour. That's, uh, you know, you're doing 12 to 15 mugs per cycle. Uh, the way I do it, you have three racks in there that I use, and I put four mugs per rack uh, for a total of 12, and I can do those 12 mugs in about 10 and a half minutes. And what really makes me very happy about this oven is the, the waste, very limited waste, if any. Uh, when I'm testing in the back and the customers in the field that's using this product now, they're having very uh, which is very important, you know, in our business. Uh, but the countertop oven, if you mind, uh, $1,000. And you saw, you saw Marcy's numbers on the finished mugs. You know, I'm just going to round it off to make the map very simple on this oven. If you have $2 invested in that mug when you sublimate it, and you sell that mug for $12, you just made $10 profit. Well, $10 profit, you only need to do 400 mugs. To, to pay for this mug oven. Now, I'm not taking into account, you know, labor, operational cost, and that kind of thing. I know I've really simplified this, but 400 mugs to pay for this mug oven. The mug oven will do 50 mugs an hour. So on an eight-hour shift, you're doing 400 mugs. So, you know, theoretically, you can pay for that mug oven with one day of high production, and you can definitely pay for it in a couple of days or weeks work. But determine your, your profit margin, and then, you know, anything when you're buying capital equipment, you've got to look at the ROI, return on your investment. 
use a simpler formula I just used, and you can see uh, how this investment will pay for itself in a very short time. Now let's talk about the conveyors. We built our first conveyor mug oven over 10 years ago. At the time that mug oven was built, sublimation was a lot simpler then. We were just doing plain white mug, 11 and 15 ounce. And it was, you know, it was pretty simple to do. But as the market demands have changed, you know, now we're doing colored mugs. Now we're doing stainless steel products. We're doing lattes, large and small. Well, when, when you're doing taller substrates, you're doing multicolors, your temperature has to be even more precise. So we redesigned that mug oven four years ago, and now that's where we got the Subla Pro. The Subla Pro oven has been redesigned with a, with a, uh, a more precise heating system and an advanced air circulation system that allows us to sublimate with just excellent results on this oven. You can see there's three sizes, uh, three sizes available. The 24-inch belt, you know, it's going to do between 120 and 180 mugs per hour, depending up on your operation. The 36-inch was going to do, you know, five to seven or 500, uh, and the 48-inch oven will do up to a thousand mugs an hour. That, you know. These ovens are for people that are very serious about the production and they have production needs. Uh, this product's been on the market almost four years now, and it, it's pretty much revolutionized the drinkware. We are, we are with some of the biggest operators in the country, and uh, a great compliment to us, I keep reordering the equipment so we know that it's working well. But the same thing I talked about earlier, look at your mug production needs and what you can do in the future, and then you determine, you know, the uh, the return on your investment on this equipment. Uh, the you know 150 mugs an hour. That's you know that's quite a bit of production. Uh, go up to a thousand mugs an hour, and that's an incredible amount of production. We like to think between our countertop and our conveyors, we offer uh, mug production for just about every budget and every need. But keep us in mind when you when you need a lot of mug production or drinkware production, um, this oven's very versatile. You do shot glasses, mugs, travel mugs, all the same settings, same temperature, same everything. You put the wrap on it, you send it through the oven. A really cool feature, if you notice by the picture, it's a cooling tower located at the end of the oven chamber. We sublimate at 400 degrees. Once it gets to the cooling chamber, it exits the cooling chamber, that mug is now basically room temperature. No gloves needed to take the wraps off. You essentially, you take the wrap off, you take the artwork off, and you put it in the box, and you send it out the door. It's a very simple operation, and it will save you time and money, and your profitability goes through the roof. Please take a look at the mug ovens. If you have any questions, please contact Coastal or myself, and we'd, uh, we'd love to talk to you further about it. Thank you a lot. Thanks, Dan. And yeah. another way to see some of these, um, just to let, the, let everyone know, another way to see some of these um, items uh, in action, uh, Coastal has put together a few videos, and Dan's actually put together a video on the countertop and the conveyor oven following the um, webinar, we will be sending an email out with links to all those videos so you can check them all out. And uh, a lot of highlights on this uh, webinar will be on there as well. So uh, many times people will call in and they will ask us about financing. And Coastal Business Supplies is partners with ACG Equipment Finance. This allows you a better chance to get the equipment, the supplies you need to be successful. Um, leasing equipment gives you the opportunity to take on larger jobs and to branch out to different areas, such as mug production, uh, and help increase your profit. So if you would like, you can reach out to Chris at ACG Equipment Finance. Uh, his number is listed there, 440-579-0404. Uh, another way of doing it on our website, we do have a link to financing, and Chris will work with you one-on-one. -on -one 
um, to come up with a good plan for you to get your equipment. I would like to say, Dan, thank you for co-hosting with me today. It's definitely a pleasure doing with this with you, and perhaps we can do it again in the future. So thank you, Dan. Well, thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> uh, we, we do appreciate it. Um, and I want to say thank you to everybody who came and joined us on our webinar today. Um, this is one of our larger webinars. Um, obviously, there's definitely an interest in doing mug production. I'm sure we've highlighted and hopefully have answered quite a few of your questions and I imagine you've had more. Uh, we've seen some quite a few e um, questions come through during the webinar and our folks here at Coast have answered quite a few of them. If not, um, please feel free to reach out to Coastal at 1-800-562-7760. Uh, go onto our website if you'd like. We do have um, a link there where you can uh, ask for questions, um, or you can call in and ask for me, um, Darcy, here at Coastal. And if you, again, if you have any questions about any of the Hicks products, particularly the the ovens, uh, Dan can definitely help you with that as well. So thanks everybody for joining us today uh, at the Sublimation Mug Small and Large Production. Uh, we truly appreciate your time that you spent with us, and look forward to talking with you soon. Yes, folks, thank you very much. Have a great day.